Oh my god, Michael. 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 Michael! <laughs> what? Death Stranding is the thing. Uh, Death Stranding Director's Cut is out. Uh, and uh, yeah, any excuse to play it, I will take it. So welcome back to Dojo, everybody. I'm Jeff. And I'm Mike. Uh, and Michael, we are doing something special today. We are doing a service to all of the people who may be thinking, oh, I want to play Death Stranding. I haven't ever played it. Now I have a PlayStation 5, and I'm going to play it. So we are at the point in the story where, like, we, we did the prologue, we did the opening, and then there's a forced mission, and then we finally signed up with the bridges, and we're getting ready to do our very first delivery. And we are going to attempt today to do, um, to uh, show everybody what they should do instead of getting caught in the opening area for a million years and being like, this game is stupid and I don't like it, it's just walking. So, do you think Die Hard Man's like a char? A, a char? Yeah, like you know, in Gundam, every there's always a guy with the mask in it. Oh, I don't know. You think he's like Char? It's. I, I wish. It, I wish his teeth opened more. It, they they don't open exactly when he talks. They only open up when he. I don't know. It's a little. Weird. Well, it's like those um those T Rex masks. Yeah. That like Matt has. Yeah. It's like it only like sort of. Moves oh my god! Shut the up. Okay. Blah 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 blah. All right. So you've you've you started Death Stranding and you're like, what do I do? You load everything up. Take all these. Yeah, I know about ladders. Fucking fuck off. Uh, we aren't even going to need all of them, but we're going to take them all anyway. Here, load all that take shit. Take all the ladders. Fucking put it on your legs and your arms and shit. And let's go already. So, this game will try and tell you things, and you should not listen to it. Um, It'll tell you to murder your family. It, no. Oh. Oh, did it tell you that too? That's crazy. It told me that. Yeah, but they were really far away, and I didn't want to drive. Um, I was like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's Sunday, man. I'm tired. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, okay, here we go. Um, yeah, all right, Die Hard Man. I know where the fucking tool hut is. Also, it's my fine. dad is way stronger than I am. <laughs> well, there's that. Uh, so, yeah, you've decided to play. So, you've decided to play Death Stranding by Jeff. Um, the game is going to attempt to, like, make you. Uh, like have a leisurely run to various places and you shouldn't do that. You should make a beeline towards all of the things that you need to do. So um, we are trying to get from here to uh, there the way station west of Capital Knot City and uh, we're just going to run our asses off and probably get killed by BTs. You know? I'll be fine. Who, who knows? Uh, here's a pro tip. They load you up with uh, ladders, Michael. Do you need a ladder to get over this water? Fuck, no, you don't. You just fucking double jump right over that shit. <laughs> I forgot you Sam that. Porter Bridge has got a double jump by default, yo. Um, Not going to grab that? Uh, you can't yet. You literally have to get, like, a mission to, to uh, be able to pick up Kyrelium. So. Oh, that's right. <laughs> shit. Woo. We also don't have the Monster Energy Drink water upgrade yet. That's well. Uh, we have the regular. Well, there are no Monster Energy Drinks yes, anymore. Yes, that's so. true. Yes. Um, we defeated the Dude Bros in the future this time around. Yep. So, yeah, just just uh, just run your ass it off. It just has like the B symbol on it or whatever, right? No. It's the, the what? It's just got like a B symbol on it now. Uh, it looks like. Well, it's uh. Oh shit! I don't even have the water bottle. Well, fuck. I didn't realize I didn't have a water bottle yet. <laughs> That's a problem. Oh, boy. It's raining um, now. Man, I... I, I love this overwrought bullshit Kojima yeah. weirdness. I forgot like, it was I, called Timefall. I fucking love it. Rain makes you age. <laughs> yeah, it makes you age, like, but you can, but it doesn't like make. I don't know. It's weird. I remember. I don't remember the full explanation for some of it. Uh, here come the BTS. So I'm gonna give you a little pro tip, everybody. Just fucking run, man. Like <laughs> they're gonna be like, ah, oh, you should sneak. You should hold your breath. You should do a bunch of other stuff. Nah, fucking run. Uh, it's fine. You'll be fine for the most part. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. You might you might cause a void out, but uh, who cares? There's nobody out here. Nobody's living over here. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, a little Odorak is telling you which direction the BTs are. You just got to kind of like, you know, vector around them a little bit. Oh, shit. They're a lot closer. All right. Closer here they come. Idea. They're coming at me now. Head for the rocks. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, yep. They're, go they're gone. Leave them in the dust, Sam Bridges. <laughs> <sighs> just maxing out your stamina there, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. Oh, oh look. There's a, there's a BT. Here he comes. He's coming for me. Run, Sam. Run. Jump. 
And shit. There's the water. Here's the water. I'm going to run a little bit this way. See if I can get away from him. Because I think there's a better crossing point. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to walk away from BTs, like, right through this water. <laughs> um, Got to follow, oh, uh, follow the current, Jeff. Just don't don't get in the red. As long no. as it's not red, it's fine. Mm. Red is bad. Uh, BB, don't be such a little baby about all this. Oh, no! <laughs> ah! Paddle, 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 paddle. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I, it's fine. It's all fine. You don't have the uh, auto otter thing yet. Oh, God, no. Yeah. You didn't get that until you meet Conan O'Brien. Uh, that's right. That's the thing, guys. So, let's see. Yeah, in fact, my uh, pro tip number one. This game will try to make you go uh, go talk to Jeff Keeley. Don't do it. Don't do not do it. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, just in general, but also... He's really into you. Just don't... Yeah, he's, he's kind of creepy. Um, he's like, hey, did you hear about my new game thing? It's like, that's cool, Jeff Keeley. <laughs> you just calm blah, blah, blah. down. It kind of, you know... Uh, he's like, I'm friends with Kojima. Yeah, I, I hear you. Yeah, cool. Uh, you know, part of me, uh, oops, shit, <laughs> shit <ow. laughs> oop, oop, oop. was like, uh, man, how could America ever get to a state where nobody talked to each other and everybody lived in tiny little houses by themselves and only one man's blood grenades could save us all? And I was like, oh, right, okay, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, we got pretty close. The only difference is the internet is 100% already a thing. Yeah. Or in this is that you have to make give people the internet. Okay, here we go. All right, let's... Because uh, kind of people can't up. share cat memes in this world. Yep. Until Sam Porter Bridges shows up. I, I was actually thinking, um, Michael, have you thought... I, I don't know if you're like me in this way. I was trying to figure out. I was playing this. I downloaded it. I was like, here, let me boot it up and make sure it works. You know, that old chestnut. And then I ended up playing the fuck out of it. And I was like, why? Why is this game compelling? Why is Death Stranding fun to play not like oh did i buy into kojima's weird fucking philosophy major bullshit um but like why is this game fun to play and i've been thinking about that a lot recently um and i think that it just comes down i and, and, so it started started thinking that way oh yes please eat some of these uh, i'm gonna eat some get some stamina back so i don't have my fucking monster energy oh wait that's just blood um yeah and I was thinking about how how is Death Stranding different from a Metal Gear game? Um, because, like, granted, in a metal in, in a Metal Gear game, you could just shoot everybody, right? Yes. You could just like pull out a gun and shoot everybody. And, and so there's not as many people to shoot in Death Stranding as there is in Metal Gear. But when you play Metal Gear and you and you focus on stealth. What you're generally trying to do is just get from point A to point B without being fucked, yes. right? You're trying to avoid uh, a, a conflict and get from point A to point B. And in a lot of ways, that's exactly what this game is, right? Like, is you're just trying to get from one point to another. There's shit in between that you have to deal with, and you've got a bunch of different ways to deal with that, th with that challenge that happens from point A to point B. It's just that there's actually been more... Um, there's been more focus placed on just the f the act of walking around, like the mechanics of just walking from one place to another. Uh, well, for one of the reasons I really enjoyed it was the fact that like it was almost like a time trial at all times. Yeah. It was just like, how fast can I get from point A to point B without destroying my stuff, as well as like not getting, okay, yeah, like you said, fucked over by something. Yeah. And then not only that, it was just really relaxing. Yeah. Like, there's so many games where, like, I am I have that sort of time trial feel, but I'm just stressed out the entire time. But for some reason, I was never really all that stressed in this game. Except for the mountains. The mountains were fucking crazy. I mean, the mountains are some yeah. bullshit. Uh, that was the only time I was ever stressed in the game. But for the most part, yeah, no, this game's fucking really fucking soothing. Like, the only thing it was missing is the idea of, like, being able to listen to something in-game. Yeah. A Walkman? Yeah, like a Walkman or an iPod or anything, like in general. Because even Metal Gear Solid 4 had one. Yeah. And so did 5 eventually. It was or, just it was just fucking Kojima wanted you to listen to his goddamn Spotify indie rock playlist. He wanted to force you to listen to, what's that, Lost Poets or Dead Poets Society? What, what's the name of the Lost 
There's like this one band that's got it, like yeah. a billion tracks on this uh, on here. I bought the digital deluxe edition of this game originally, yeah. and it gave me some of the songs from this game, and I actually listened to them a lot. Because they actually are really good. They're very relaxing. But the problem is you can't listen to them in game, <laughs> like unless, right, you're, you uh, unless you're at the fucking um, the base or whatever, and yep. you have to unlock them still. Yep. And they added more in this version, mm -hmm. so it's like fuck. Oh shit. So this is Twitter, huh? I don't like it. Get <laughs> me off here. porn. <laughs> get, get me off of the chiral network. I'm it's fucking just people drawing people fucking BTS. Sick bastards. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> It's nothing but BT porn. Oh, God. <laughs> Are people shipping BTs and BBs? Gross. Get me the fuck oh, out of here. Oh, oh Jesus. It's the oh. grossest thing I've ever heard. Oh. Um, all right. So you want to get to... Yeah, fucking... It's fine, Die Hard Man. You want to get to the distribution center. I love that his name is Die Hard Man. <laughs> I forgot all the mans. It's Heart Man and Dead Man and Die Dead Hard Man. Dead Man, Die Hard Man. Um... um which one is the one that like keeps killing himself? Is that Dead that's Man? Heart Man? That's Heart Man. Yeah, the one that's based on Nicholas Reffin. Uh, okay, they all sound like make. Mega Man villains okay, if yeah, you say them fast enough. I don't want that. I just want to take on orders. That's when you got to deliver something to Metal Man. So, so and like Wood Man. I feel like oh, the game wants you to make a post box. Don't fucking do that. Just <laughs> get the get the thing. <laughs> go to the west. Go to the distribution center. And it fucking, you don't even really need, like, it really wants to tell you to make a lot of stuff. The you game really is really, it really wants you to make fucking, you know what? In fact, I don't even need these ladders. I don't <laughs> need four ladders. <laughs> I'll take one ladder and a climbing anchor, put that in the private locker, and then dis distribute this shit. Yeah, there you go. That looks great. Um, also, one of my favorite things to do in this game was just like oh, yeah, let's go. have stupidly large amounts of shit on my backpack. Oh, yeah, once and you get, the... to get somewhere. <laughs> Once you get the metal legs, where you can just kind of fucking go for it, um, you get the the leg assists. Yeah, and you can just load up with fucking six hundred kilograms worth of bullshit. I remember it's so much of the the stuff you can use to build roads. Yep. And I was like, I'm not dropping this giant one. <laughs> fucking, you can't stop me. And so I walked for like an hour, which would have taken me maybe ten minutes without it, because it was so fucking heavy. Oh shit! Fuck. But I was like, I'm building that road. Fucking. Yeah, this game is full of shit like that. Did you, did you Sam? We didn't see. Nobody was out here watching you. BTs <laughs> <laughs> are judging me. I can feel them. <laughs> he's just like, he's just walking around, and then like he trips, and he catches himself, he looks around. There's nobody in front of me. He turns around. There's just like one mule just shaking his head, looking at Sam Porter Bridges. <laughs> like, no, I saw you, asshole. Um, I'm just imagining him like in the BT area and that happens and you yeah. just hear like something start laughing hysterically. <laughs> right. And you're like, God damn it. It's okay, here come BTs. the mules. They want your shit. He's tripping already. <laughs> fucking DoorDash assholes. Get out of here. I love the stupidity of the fucking mules. Actually, I was thinking, I was thinking about it and I was like, I can see how the mules become a thing. Like depending on how long all this bullshit goes on for in this world, right? Is that, okay, so imagine like Imagine that you drove for, like, Grubhub or some bullshit like that, right? Yeah. And imagine if they started instituting a system where the number of likes you got for your delivery determined how much money you got. There wasn't, like, a tip thing anymore. It was just, like, if you get five stars, you get more money than if you get four stars or three stars. So then people become obsessed with, like, how many stars do you get uh, for your, your bullshit Grubhub thing? And then imagine that you became, like, like a Grubhub family, right? Like, people were a bit like, ah, my family's been in coal for 40 years. It's like, my family's been delivering for Grubhub for four generations. My, my father delivered for Grubhub, his father delivered for Grubhub, and I also deliver for Grubhub. And then you just get obsessed with the star rating, and you're like, you gotta get five stars. And then if you don't have enough stars, you just start, like, jacking other Grubhub drivers <laughs> to get their stars. That's basically the plot uh, of the mules, by the way. Yep. That's not it. Like, that's not as much as it's a joke. That's literally, like, that's what happens. how it explains how they exist. Yep. All right. We need to cross, and I think that this might be as good a... I kind of figured where the rock star over there would be. Stamina. Fine. Yeah. I guess I was... <laughs> Sam. Sam. You're already oh, running shit. out of stamina. Yep. Yeah. I've, I've, I've really... Without your Mountain Dew, you're not Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> Did I have my Mountain Dew yet? Oh, there yeah, I got is, my Mountain yeah. Dew. There it is. Oh, it's called Bridges <laughs> Energy now. Drink your fucking Bridges Energy drink, Sam Porter Bridges. <laughs> like, you imagine if it was a brand of energy drink that was your last name? I would only drink that exclusively, no matter how gross it was. 
It could be like like only Mountain Berry flavored, and I'd still drink it. <laughs> if there was, is there a Rage energy drink? Is there a Rage? I like, don't know. Maybe there's a Balls energy drink. That's yeah. been around for a long time. I have balls. Maybe that's what I should drink. <laughs> uh, yeah, ball, balls energy used to be like a really popular thing when I was in college. That was the thing that had, they have little nubs, right? On yeah. The, on the, they have the balls on the on the glass bottle. Yeah, exactly. God, that's sounds terrible. Oh, look, you can see the, the uh, distribution center from here. Oh, so. cool. All right. That's where we're going, everybody. The Cairo Network's like right next to us, too. What do you mean? Because oh, yeah. Because had that, like, that line show where the Cairo... Cairo is a Cairo, Cairo, right? yeah, Cairo, Cairo network. network. Uh, so see up there that on uh, the top of that thing over there is where uh, fucking Jeff Keeley lives. <laughs> yep, yep. He's Run gonna announce a new indie game while you're there. We're just going. No, fuck it, Odorek. We're going. Oh god, get on more solid. Yeah, get ground. on solid and grab. Yeah. Oh. Oh Starting tire, tire uh, Sam out. Come on, Sam. You can do it. We all believe in you. <laughs> you got your Bridges Energy drink. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be fine, everybody. It's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. It's fine, Odorek. We're fine. Look out. Double jump. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was really close. <laughs> this isn't my first run-in with the BTs today. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, God, I love this game. See, if you if you do... If, if you skip all the cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> and don't absorb any of the story. You can really get through this game really quickly. You I really mean. could, yeah. <laughs> That's how the speedrunners do it. Uh, the funny thing is that when we get to the distribution center, I did a, I, I timed every piece of this dojo out, and um, it's 15 minutes worth of cutscenes if you just let it play when you get to the distribution center. Oh, really? Because they, they make you go through the little safe room. Like one thing at a time. Like you have to take a shower, you have to take a shit, you have to check on BB. You got to look at your <laughs> fucking outfit. Like, and you can't leave until you do all of it. So, yeah. um, that's some bullshit right there. I swear there's like some other stuff, some other outfits in this game, like color wise. I, at a certain point, I think you just get the ability to change the color of your outfit. I know you get the ability to change the color of your uh, um, backpack and BB's little thingy. Yeah, because I remember uh, one of the Digital Deluxe things was like a different colored outfit. I like I me, mean, I can't remember what it was. It's like gold? Yeah, there's, it was like there's a, gold a bunch of gold shit. Like it. I think okay. it was gold. I don't know. It's been so long. So everybody, our our goal is to get Benjamin Hancock's uh, motorcycle to run. Yeah. And you shouldn't do anything else until you make Benjamin Hancock's motorcycle run. Like, if you, if you do that, then you'll be like, what is this game, walking? And then you'll be disappointed. Whereas if you get that motorcycle running... You'll have a better time. BB's all fucked. Yeah, he's got from the, the from all the stuff. He's got all the problems. That's that's a thing. He's all such right. a drama queen. Ooh, look at me! I'm a baby in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Uh, when I started this up, I just skipped all of the first hour worth of cutscenes oh, really? in the game because um, I wanted to get to the deliver and the hot delivery actions. Yeah. And uh, then I went back and watched them all this weekend when I was timing out all of the different things. Um, and it was like, oh my god, I forgot how dense this thing is. Oh, I forgot about the armor plating that you can put on your body. Oh yeah, that's way later. Yeah, um, you have a bunch of those at one point. Auto skip, S rank, awesome. Jeff is the best. Give me some stars. It's fine. Okay. Keep on. Yep. Put them up. Put them on the network. You can just. You can just. You can just. You can just skip over that. We already saw that happen one time. All right. There you go. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. And now they're going to be like, ah, go to your room. Sending Sam to his room. Yep, 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 yep. yep. It's now connected to the Carol network. Like it's weird when he does that because it's like, why do you, why, what do you think that looks like that? <laughs> You're not a hologram, dude, <laughs> in real life. Or is he? Well, yeah, maybe he's a, a Cortana AI or something. Why is his resolution so bad? Guys, you can't get rid of this this bullshit, or is that on purpose? I think it's on purpose. Um, all right. Sam, did you tell, you tell you about the time I made Hellboy? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> all right, let's go go to the room. Yes, yes. We're gonna skip over most of this because we got My baby. We got things to do. My baby, <laughs> gotta take care of that bridge, you baby. You there? Little help. You guys can go watch that cutscene online if you want. Uh, they talk about what a bridge baby is. And then we've got this bullshit. 
and now we're gonna be sitting in here, and they're not gonna let us go until we do everything. I'm gonna fucking take a shit, take a shower. <laughs> uh, you'll be happy to know, Michael, that um, AMC's uh, The Ride or whatever is still in here. Is it really? <laughs> I is is it that is. show thing that he? I don't even know if that's a real show. Still, I can't even remember. Probably not. But he has that like Godzilla in the back or whatever. Yeah. All right. Yes, Norman Reedus has a nice ass. We all know it. His ass is way better than mine is. So, yeah, you've got to go through every one of these little... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I yep, forgot yep, about yep, the yep, mail yep, messages because yep, yep, sometimes yep, yep. it had, like, specific things in them that you could do. Dude, God only... God help you. Uh, what? What? Sam, what? What do you want me to look at? I'm trying to look at stuff. I'm trying to look at this thing. He wants to look at the baby. Wait. <laughs> Oh, I, think I want you, to look at the baby, he says. You gotta look at the active terminal. Um, a, a Die Hard Man calls you constantly to be like, Sam, are you checking your email? Did you look at your email? There might be some important messages in your email. <laughs> and you're just like, God damn, dude. All right, fine. I'll fucking do it already. Another outpost is under attack, he said. Okay, leave private room. There we go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Because, Michael, we can't... To get the electric, we have to go to the wind farm. But before we can go to the wind farm, we have to get the... Uh, manufacturing parts back from the mules. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. So we're going to skip over Mads. Mads. Come on, Mads. And then they canceled Hannibal, and I was devastated. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they also always try to make you bring way more shit than you need. They really do. They're always just like, you need, like, eight ladders for this? And it's like, you don't need any ladders for anything, it's ever. Like, I'm good. I'm like, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Don't, don't let the BBs get all mad. Um, <laughs> up, up. All right. He's feeling blue. He's telling you how to soothe the, soothe the BBs. You gotta rock that baby. Just shake it. Shake yep. it as hard as you can. Shake that baby, man. Well, don't shake it as hard as you can. Okay. <laughs> all right. Shake it like a fucking um, globe. Like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> Uh, all right. They it's also like a snow globe. they're What's also the giving you a, uh, a mission to yeah. I know about PCCs. Just don't even do it. No, I don't even want it. Offload it. Put it on the floor. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Put them both on the floor. I don't give two shits. I don't need these. What were they for again? They want you to build a watchtower so you can scout the mule base before you go in. Oh, that's right. It's like, yeah. I don't fucking need that, man. All I need is my goddamn rope, my blood rope. <laughs> I'm going to tie him up with my blood rope. It's going to murder some bitches. Hey, look, we're on the network so we can see the paths that people have taken. Do, 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 do. I remember all the crazy shit you could do to, like, knock somebody out with just your stuff. Well, maybe you should have taken it to throw the stuff at him. Hey, I got a ladder. <laughs> Hit him in the face <laughs> with a ladder. A ladder. <laughs> One of the things that you can do later on, this is really weird, is um, you actually get... The, you remember how they added the cyberpunk stuff to Death Stranding? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, one of the things that you get from the cyberpunk submissions is the ability to, like, look at a destination and then hit a button and make sure th and then the, the destination will never fade. So it'll just continue to be an icon because eventually really? that'll go away. Oh, yeah, um, that's right, yeah. And it's incredibly useful. <laughs> it's one of those things with, like, why is this part of this weird sub thing with de why is this was this a crossover feature all right i brought one ladder i will use one ladder i mean you guys and your ladders that's probably, what did you bring a ladder though? i did i brought one ladder uh because i know what i'm doing once i get these assholes on the network yeah take that ladder <laughs> fucking get sub well, this is a dicey, dicey place for a ladder. Falling off the ladders constantly because <laughs> I'd overdo it. Yeah, do you remember the ladders on the mountain? Oh, he fucking hell. Uh, Fuck that thing. Part of me is just not happy with the idea that eventually I'm going to have to go to the mountain. We have to, Jeff. <laughs> been, like, if we replay this game, that's something that's going to have to happen. Assholes. Oh, that's right. I don't have that power yet. Later, you get that power where you can nullify their scans yeah. by doing your own scans. You use it like fucking crazy. Yup. Holy shit. Look, he, see? Take a ladder, leave a ladder. It's like the ladder 7-Eleven. Uh, <laughs> what? Somebody else's ladder's already here. Are they on the chiral network? I Wait, why so. the fuck would I go up there? I don't want to go up there. Well, that's, that's a way up there. I remember going up there on my way. Just going this way. I can't remember the reason for it, but... I'm going down here. I think, I think it's so you can make the post box or, or the watch thing up there. No, it's right there. 
Like, and if you just if you just come this direction, you could just fuck. And no, if you don't, no, I said I think it's to make the thing that you said that you don't want to make. I think it's up there. Oh, the post box. I think it was up there. No, so there's was... something up there that you can do. Life of me, I can't remember what. There's a this reason is... why I went up there originally. You don't have to do anything, man. You just walk over here. This fucking guy's eating his sandwich. He's playing the Vita. You open up the <laughs> open up their goddamn post box, which makes like a lot of noise. <laughs> Grab the what shit. What was that noise? <laughs> Auto range your cargo, close the box, fucking leave. The end. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're going to try to get you in a fight with all these mules, and the first time you play this game, you're going to want to do it. Don't do it. Just fucking sneak in and then sneak out. You don't got to beat these poor grub hub you assholes You don't have up. to, unless you really want to, which I totally did every time. Well, every time I get seen by the mules, it's like, I guess it's Mule Apocalypse Day. I guess you're <laughs> all going to get, is. You're all gonna get tied up by bolos and punched in the dick. <laughs> God, I love beating the shit out of those guys. Especially uh, when you get the car, you can just run them the fuck over. Oh, a motorcycle. Oh just like God. side <laughs> swipe hysterical. them. Yep. And... D d d d oh, man, we we're making really good time. There's a fucking USB memory key up there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Not getting it. We're not stopping. Can't stop, won't stop. Where's my bladder at? I tried getting, like, all of those. Pretty good. We're, oh, there it is. What is beeping? I don't do anything to you. <laughs> My toenails aren't falling off. Come on. Man, I, I can you imagine what this game would have been like if you had to endure Sam's foot injuries for all of your horrible actions? Oh, yeah. There was that one part of the trailer where he takes off his fucking toenail and everybody's like, oh, God. I'll play every Call of Duty game, but watching a dude who's had to walk a long way rip his toenail off. Well, I always just made sure I had, like, the best fucking boots on, like, at all times. Yeah. Yeah, there's a thing in this game where there's like a flip-flop plant. I don't know what the fuck happened, but there's like this one plant that um, that grows flip-flops. And it's like, and Die Hard Man calls you to be like, Sam, if your boots ever run out, uh, you can use these flip-flop plants to get a let's get some flip-flops. And it's like, why would my boots ever run out? And why would I not be carrying more boots? Look, I've got more boots right now. Yeah. Like, you know how hard you have to try to run out of boots? Like, it's hard. It's very difficult. Because uh, there are some boots that last for fucking ever. Yeah. And and the boots that you have don't even really affect your, like, balance or your cargo rating all that much. So, like, really? why would you not at least just bring one spare pair with you? And then, like, when you set out, you can see right on my screen right now, there's a giant boot indicator indicating how much boot remains on my boot. <laughs> if it was low, <laughs> why would you be like, you know what? It'd be like... <laughs> It'd be like going on a cross-country tr road trip when your fucking gas light is on. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Yeah, just buy more boots. Yeah. Fucking pull over. Sometimes you just steal boots from fucking mules, too. Yeah. Boots for days out there. There's guys. all these boots everywhere. They grow on, they literally grow on trees, even though you wouldn't want to use tree boots. <laughs> I never used them. I was like, what the fuck is the point of these? I think I picked some up one time. And I was like, oh, man, I'm going to run out of boots. And it was like, no, you're not. You're never going to. Yeah. Look at that! Now Got I can make boots. boots. Now I can manufacture the boots. I kept upgrading my boots. Get out of here. Fucking fuck off. I know about shoes. I'm a professional delivery guy. <laughs> what the fuck? Good work, Sam. Yep. 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 Yeah, that's the other thing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make you want to make your connection levels really high. You just, don't just have wait. to. Just wait for that. Yeah, eventually you can just come back and then, like, <laughs> bring a fucking... Uh, zip lines and motorcycles and uh, dumb amounts of shit. Hey, there he is, Hartman. All right, all right. Yep, yep, yeah. I know what it does. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It looks like a guy fine. you would run into in an Austin. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah. All right. So now we should have a wind farm. And he talks about his Criterion collection a lot. No, wait. Oh, that's right. God damn it, I forgot. Yeah, this is how you start collecting the crystals, Jeff. Yeah, it wants me to. It wants me to build a post box again. I don't fucking want to do that, Die Hard Man. I don't give a shit. Nobody ever used any post boxes. Oh my god! Don't even. Just put that on the ground with the rest <laughs> of them. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I do not give a shit about the PCCs. I use the post boxes every now and then, but it's mostly just people would leave shit there to, to deliver. Yep. 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 I know what they are. I know where they are. <laughs> If I remember, if this goes the way that it went for all of my tests that I did of this, it's like, okay, they want you to get one CG, I don't even know, that's like a teeny tiny amount of, of chiral crystals. Yeah. And they're like, they want you to go over into like BT territory to do it, right? But like, 
Michael, chiral crystals are everywhere. They are. <laughs> like, uh, look, there's some right there. Uh, let's just go get those. Uh, oh, there's something that are even closer. We don't have to go to BT territory. We could just be like, do, 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 do. Fucking yoink. And we're done. Collect at least one CG of crystals. I got them. Of them. <laughs> Uh, we'll just collect those things for so much of it, guys. All right. It literally grows in the ground. That's true. It's true. And sometimes we'll true. just get in the fights with BTs just to get more Just of to them. get them. We can try yeah. to build those highways. Maybe yeah. you need, like, more crystals. You're, You're like, like, fucking come at me, bro. Yeah. I got a fucking... Uh, I got enough... Oh, my God. I'm going to uh, shoot my blood at you as hard as I can. <laughs> I was playing I was playing the game, and... Uh, oh, you know what? I do want one of these PCCs eventually, but... Uh, I was playing the game, and... Um, uh, do, 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 fucking take them all. I don't give a shit. Just take whatever you want. I don't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> that's enough for, for this mission. Um, and I finally got to the point where you can put patches on your backpack to put the grenades in so that oh, yeah. you don't have to carry the grenades in big boxes. And it's like, God damn, because you guys have not developed pockets earlier. Like, come on. Yeah, this is some it's easy weird shit. having a bunch of jumpsuits with, like, no pockets in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They figured out how to carry stuff around on these giant brackets on your shoulders, but nobody thought to put pockets. Oh, I didn't bring enough. Oh, I only got a B. Yeah. B for bridges. <laughs> All right. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Come on, we're almost done here. I mean, not that I, <laughs> not that I want to be done or anything. It's just now, oh, God, give me the hat already. I don't give a shit. Oh, it's container. the container spray. I don't care. I don't care. I love how like stupidly care. huge these boxes are for some of these things. Yeah. Because it reminds me of like Amazon boxes that ship like in giant boxes with the tiniest fucking thing inside of it. Here, you can go in the private locker as well. Everybody be done. Fucking, it's fine. Um. There is a correlation between elevated levels. Oh my god! Yeah, I know. They're where the BTS are. <laughs> uh. And you know what? I, I don't really feel bad about glossing over the story here because if you really want to play this game, you should really get into the story. Yeah, like, that's the um, thing. If, if, you're, if you actually want to get in the story, playing the game is the best way of really understanding it. I mean, goddamn. We've added a bridge schematic to it, takes like, eight, it takes 800 medals. I don't, I don't have 800 fucking medals. All right? Well, I, I mean, I do, but I don't want to carry 800 <laughs> medals. Load it up. Let's go already! power units so now this is our last step or close to our last step um, we got to go to the fucking wind farm which is the worst yeah nobody likes going to the wind farm everybody hates the fucking wind farm uh, did somebody did a nice person build a bridge already nope I'm gonna have to fjord yeah usually that's that not something shit. that's there right away until after the mission's done Let's see which area is this here okay no, sir. I might you just have to do a little floating. I think I might just have to do a little floating. That'd be, 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 be fine. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. Nope. I don't give a shit. Yep. There he goes. Woo! BTs! TDs! All right, go. Look, there's some Kyrelium. No. Oh, nice. BB, quit being a drama queen. Your stress levels are nothing. You have zero <laughs> stress levels. Uh... There we go. Stand up. <laughs> Help, I can't swim. <laughs> Just stand up, man. I probably could have stood up a lot sooner, actually. You probably could, but that made it much funnier to me. <laughs> Sam's like in one foot of water, like, oh, my God. BB, help me. Can't swim, BB. Oh, God, call for help. Yeah. Oh, boy. I tried just going to the wind farm. I tried just, like going directly to the wind farm before doing anything else. Oh. And they just won't talk to you because you don't have anything for them. Yeah. So. And there's always fucking... This is the time where we might get caught by the BTs because they are all over the fucking wind farm. Oh, Jesus. They're fucking everywhere in this they're, part. They suck. Because it really wants you to sneak at that point. Yeah. I don't want to sneak. I want to run. <laughs> I'm trying to make them Grubhub deliveries, boy. They get this pizza. Gotta man, get that $5 tip. Man, I was so pissed this weekend. Uh, Uber Eats wouldn't let me add the, like, $2 to priority order some fucking rice balls from the rice ball place. Um, and then the and then I, I the guy picked up my food, and then it was like, oh, your driver's making another delivery first. And I was like, no, hey, look, flip-flop plants. 
No, wait, those are those really power crystals. They're closer. They're further up here. I was like, God damn it, guys. Yeah, there's the plan. There it is. Should we pick up some flip flops? <laughs> just in case. Just we go to the beach. Go to the water park. Yeah, absolutely. Spread the pole. And take showers with them. Yeah. Hey, see, this is sandalweed. Sandalweed, that's what it's called. Look at this stupid. Look at this flip flop plant. I'm not it's wearing so that weird. on my feet. <laughs> yeah, like. What are you talking about? It literally evolved to look like that. So don't pick up any of the shit. You're going to want to. Don't do it. Oh, you're going to want to so bad. Don't. The game will try to make you do it. And you say, no. <laughs> I refuse. Pick it up for days. It's not doing anything for you. In fact, you get very little stars from delivering shit. It's mostly just to make you feel like you're doing something good. For the most part, yeah. And there's a... Uh Oh, other strategy, uh, or not strategy, but a small tip. Every time there's a pizza delivery, you should just do it. Yeah, do you the pizza deliveries. Because you can't, you can't do them after the game's done. Yep. And they're very, they're interesting. There's a reason. Oh my god, fucking wind. <laughs> Ugh, blowing all my shit around. Yeah, this is such a, this is such a game that could only be made by Kojima. Like, I can never see another studio head being able to make something like this and make it work. I, you know what? Okay, so here's maybe a thing to, to, to talk about with Kojima-san. Um, no, notice me, senpai. Come on, do it. Uh, <laughs> uh, like, Kojima is this really weird... I think that Kojima is this really weird combination where, like, he is both an artso fartso. He's, like, super up his own ass with the philosophy and the story writing and all that yes. stuff, right? He's definitely an auteur. But he also really knows his way around game mechanics, right? Like, Goichi Suda is, is a very interesting storyteller and is stylish for days. Like, that motherfucker, you know, go watch us play No More Heroes. You'll see what we're talking about. But mechanically, Suda is acceptable. Uh, yes, that, that's the best way of putting it. Like, yes. you can play a Suda 51 game. Are the mechanics of a Suda 51 game why you should be coming to it? Not really. For the most part, no. I like a lot of it, but it's not really, like, the most engaging gameplay you'll ever play. Like, is sw Swery. Swery is a good example of, like, Swery has some interesting concepts, but, like, are his games fun to play on their own? Like, would you play Deadly Premonition if it wasn't so weird? Like, if, you, if Deadly Premonition was, like, regular, but it had the same mechanics, would you still play it? I... I don't think I would. Don't think I would. I don't think anyone would have. On the other hand, on the other hand, not to just be, like, a big old weeaboo over here, on the other hand, um, The Last of Us 2 has super good mechanics, but I do not ever want to play that game again because the story is so grim and yeah. dark and not, not my back. Um, whereas... Fucking Kojima is like this weird, interesting cross section of like good mechanics and then just fucking up his ass story, which regardless of how you feel about Kojima and the, his storytelling, they're at least original. They're oh, very original stories. Mm -hmm. Like, man, like just think of all the think of all the world building that got done in Death Stranding between like the Dooms and the Chiral Network and the Chirelium and the the, the beach and the bridges and the knots and all that bullshit. Yeah. Like, fuck your mother! <laughs> That's right. Can you outrun death? I can. Oh no, death! <laughs> get off me, death! That was that was the perfect moment for that. Stop time. it, death! You get off of me! No, I don't want to. No autographs. No autographs. Yes, I'm Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead. Get off of me. Oh, fuck. No, no. Do your tiny jumps, Norman. Norman, <laughs> tiny jumps. <laughs> there you go. Woo. Tiny circles. <laughs> Did it. The game's going <laughs> to try to get you to do stuff. It's goddamn BTs. <laughs> don't, let it t don't let this game bully you into doing things you don't want to no, do. No, yeah. The I'll game's going to be like, pick up all the cargo, sneak past these BTs. You're like, no, Jeff told me to run and fight. And say, go fuck yourself. And that's my motto. <laughs> Just flick them off on your way out. <laughs> yeah. I wish there was a flick your mouth button you could say. <laughs> oh, yeah. You could, there's a talk shit button. Yeah. All right. Deliver. Unfortunately, Michael. My kid's finger painted by stuff. <sighs> What's up? We still have to go back. Yes, <laughs> we do have to go back. All right. 
make the delivery. Go back the way you came, dude. Yep. There's no interesting way back. The wind farm is just <sighs> the wind farm sucks. It's not great. Other places too, if it were. Yeah. All right. Man, I love this game. So so interesting. <laughs> it's so satisfying. I don't know. Like. I don't know that I've really ever had to... It's hard to explain is really the issue. Well, <laughs> I've said this before, but, you know, if hearing Jeff repeat himself is a problem, you're probably not subscribed to Rage Select at this point. But, like, every time I try to describe Death Stranding to somebody, it ends up in this, like, this really fucking... Um, this really weird philosophical conversation where people are like, is it fun? And it's like, well... Let's think about what fun means. <laughs> what does fun mean? The dictionary defines fun as. <laughs> like, if fun is about overcoming adversity, yes, it's very fun. It's like, well, don't you just walk? And it's like, yes, but what if walking was fun? What if you gamified walking? What if you put a bunch of mechanics into a game where walking wasn't just about pushing the stick in a direction. Well, it's, it's, the, it's the fact that people think it's only walking. Fuck yeah, yeah. There's so many yeah, action yeah. sequences within this game yep. that like the, you, you start to forget it's a walking game after a while. Well, especially in the second part, we're going to jump over to the second area. Like, a lot of people, I feel, like, stay in this area for way too long. Yes. Um, and then they're like, this is all the game is, but right. it's not. It is it's 100% not. Yep, not what, yep, 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 yep. Let's just take some shit back to the delivery. No, I'm not taking metals. I'm not. I need to make that my text on. <laughs> oh, the little boo 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 boo. Yeah, because I've been trying to figure out what. I don't my know. New text Play the game again. You might have to hear it so much that you're yeah. like, "Fuck that." Maybe I don't know. Um, I'm starting to get tired of mine. Wait, what do I got? That's oh, repair sprite. Okay, it's fine. I don't give a shit. I don't want any of this stuff. Just load it all up. Distribute. Go. Heading out. All right. Best be hitting the dusty trail. And now, if you do everything that we said. Oh, yeah. Also, we should be on the network. So everybody always builds a bridge right over here. Just fucking run through those yeah. DTs. I don't know why. There's not a river or anything. It's just like. There's I think it's just to fuck them up. Fuck them up. Fuck up the BTs. Mm -hmm. I don't want to eat your crypto. I don't want to eat your urine flavored crypto bites. <laughs> Came from where somebody fucking peed. I always forget that's how they appear usually. Is you just. You, you take forever to piss and then just pee a long time in an area. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this game is so detailed. Okay, people, how can you not love Hideo Kojima? This game is so detailed that you make these grenades that are made from your piss. They're piss grenades that you can throw at the ghosts. You can throw your urine at ghosts and make them, like, go away. But not just that, Michael, but if you, if you hold it... If you hold your urine, then you get a better version from the stinky urine that you've been holding for a long time. Oh, you get a bunch of them too. You get like you, you get, get like three of them if you, you hold you for long like enough. You get like P plus P plus grenades. Like, who I the did fuck it a does lot. that? I did it a lot in this game. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, peeing isn't something that you really need to do that often. No, not really. Uh, like this game has three levels of you throwing your shit at ghosts, like some kind of weird fucking monkey man. Um, yeah, because it's it's your blood, your piss, and your, your poop. Yep. Sometimes your sweat. Yep. Your sweat, your urine, and your blood, and your feces. <laughs> Basically everything but your spit. No! For the most part, yeah. Ah, crap. Okay. Come on, Sam. You got this. You it's get by the ass. Go. Oh, wait. Shoot. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Fine. We'll just go over here first. Go on top. No! <laughs> Uh, let's see. All right. Did I bring a... If only you had a ladder of some kind. I don't think I brought a ladder. Oh, no. I got a ladder. Okay. Sure. This is a bad place to put a ladder. I don't give a fuck. That'll be fine. I'm just going to get up on that ladder. Get on that ladder, boy. There you go. <laughs> what I like about this game and the way that people can collaborate towards building, like, paths and stuff is that people will go out of the, their way to build, like, the dumbest fucking path. Uh, oh, like absolutely. the most straight line between two points, even regardless of how little sense it makes. Uh, oh shit! I am going the wrong way, I believe, but I don't even fine. know to be honest. It's been so long. It's fine. But yeah, there's a lot. Of, yeah, there's a lot of paths that you'll find where people went out of their way to make like 
a path that makes no fucking sense. <laughs> it's also worth uh, pointing out that, like, y- y'all might have noticed how I haven't used any waypoints at all in this game, and it's because after you play this game for a long enough time, you just know where every fucking rock on the entire map is. For the most part, yeah. You're just like, I shouldn't go that way. That way sucks. Um, like, I got to the second part where they have all those dumb rocks that you can't drive over. Oh, yeah. Where it's like, ah, here's a motorcycle, and here's a bunch of places where motorcycles don't work. Low Roar! That's the name. It's, everything oh, okay. is Low Roar. Don't copyright me, bro. No copyrights. <laughs> Ooh, in fact, actually, I'm going to just... Swipe uh, or no swiping. I'm going to take a second here. And, um, I, I, I fucking know. I'm going to just... Uh, uh, what? I can't turn down the... All God, master volume, Jeff. God damn you, Kojima! <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to listen to the soothing of sounds of loud roar. I don't want to listen to the soothing sounds of loud roar. I want to get back to my pocket base. Although bloody roar would be pretty cool. There should be, now that we're on the chiral network, there should be a bridge down here. Everybody always builds a bridge over this water. But it doesn't matter. Even if there's not, I'm going to just fucking float the lazy river. Uh, they usually there's a bridge. Usually. Oh, looks like somebody built half one. a bridge? You lazy assholes. Build my bridge for me. <laughs> It's the new version, Jeff, though not everyone has built everything. Dude, it's also a really nice time to play this game because everybody's online and active and doing shit. Man, I love how fast you can run downhill in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Book it. <laughs> yeah, I remember playing well, the first I remember the first time this came out, there wasn't nearly as much stuff going on in the area. Yeah. And so you felt like you were like making not making what like kind of making a difference, I guess. Yeah. Because you were just constantly building shit and people would like it and you're just like, this is nice. Yep. Okay. So 47 minutes have gone by. We're about to wrap it up here. And I know the question is, like, why all that? And all that is because you have to deliver to the wind farm in order to get the um, the plan to make an energy generator. An energy generator takes one PCC and no nothing else. No. It's just one PCC and nothing else. I fucking care. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. It's actually, technically, it's refilling my monster energy drink. There you go. Stand up earlier. Uh, I kind of missed the monster energy thing. I'm not going to lie. I, just because it was fun to say. God, it was so... It was one of the dumbest things ever in a game I've ever seen, but it still made me laugh. All right. So now that you've followed Jeff's very specific directions and you've done all the things, what you should be left with is a bunch of deliveries to make back and forth. But you no longer have to fucking walk everywhere because you could... Mama, I know. Mama, I'm doing it right the fuck now. Uh, nope. Yes. Just gonna fill the bridge right here, right on top of this motorcycle. Ah, and there it goes. So now you can grab cargo, and um, you thought running by BTs was uh, was fun when you're doing it on foot. Just wait until you fucking hit the boost button on your your, your goddamn motorcycle. That's oh, the best. Uh, you're just like, see ya. Of course, when you get caught by BTs. It sucks. Oh, it's frustrating because uh, you're like, my motorcycle. I've turned it cherry red. And so look, bitches took it. Here's Jeff Keeley, and we'll show. I, we're in the last minute of this shit, right? So let's grab Jeff Keeley's fucking cosplay bullshit, whatever he wants. <laughs> let's get it, get on this fucking motorcycle and go onwards. There's the bridge. Fucking BTs. I know that they're about to. About to come out and be some bullshit. Whoop, 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 hey guys, I was obsessed with this game. Or me and Jeff were obsessed with this fucking game when it came out. Yeah. All we talked about was how we did deliveries for yeah. like a month straight. Oh yeah. Okay. It's at the top of that little uh, that little section over there. Yeah, it's a great game. I think everybody should play it, especially um, if you didn't get a chance before. Like, it looks really good on the PS5. I say this as if we're at the end of it. We're gonna play a whole other part of this. Um, yeah. Fuck. Fuck your high priority bullshit. I need you to return my DVD of <laughs> Pootie Tang. I rented it from the last blockbuster on Earth. Look, Jeff Keeley needs his fucking bullshit, <laughs> di- Die Hard Men, okay? Like, come on. So look how fast that delivery was. That was a pretty fast delivery, right? <laughs> it was fucking eight shit. <laughs> So, yeah, do that first. Like, the game will try to 
the game will try to tempt you into going other places, but you can also, I didn't even show it, but you can also look at it. It's fucking, it's actually action figures. Jeff Keeley, you nerd. But uh, <laughs> once you have the motorcycle, you can load the motorcycle up with a bunch of materials. You can put all your gear on the motorcycle so you can carry more. You can do all kinds of cool shit. Go get the motorcycle. Don't walk around. Go get the motorcycle. We did it in 50 minutes. Boom. Like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Tell us why you don't like Death Stranding. I don't care. It's fine. It's not going to make any difference to me. Um, also, go to patreon.com forward slash rage site. Helps out. Kick some bucks. And in return, you get some bonus videos that nobody else gets to see. Uh, Michael, tell the good people online where they can find you when you're not helping me strand all them deaths. <laughs> you can find me on oneofus.net. We do a lot of movies and television reviews. Cool. And that's it, everybody. Go get the motorcycle. Just go get the motorcycle. <laughs>